Next up is Rust Mill from John Guthrie with a bit of help from Dave Riller. Um, this is another one I swear I have played in a server before. Um, I'm it's this a case. It's like the hill where I like I have somewhat vivid memories of seeing parts of it. Though this one maybe only once or twice, but I do recall one specific area of it somewhat vividly. So I'm gonna say it's a maybe that I played this one before. For reference, this was released on the same day as Double Cross and a map called Zen DM, which we'll be checking out next. Um, aesthetically, I actually quite like this one. It's got a really dirty, kind of like you know, mechanical look to it, like you know, really dilapidated. Which you know, it's a hard thing to pull off without making it look boring. But this one does a pretty good job. Um, I'm not going to talk about anything yet because I want to start this one in a very specific order. I'll start here. This is like the little rocket launcher area because, you know, there's a rocket launcher. Um, here you can get some ammo. And there's this little part right here you can get the long jump, which this poor robot can't seem to figure out. Sorry, guy. Um, you can get that, and this is really useful to have here. And that was very mean of you, Gene Pool. Jesus Christ. Um, we'll get back to that area in a little bit. So we're on the other end of the map now, and I guess I'll just talk about this one. Uh, this is like the where, kind of flooded warehouse area. Maybe it's coolant. There's a lot to unravel here. Um, despite playing with eight bots right now, that's why I'm going to be playing with eight people. This one will work with 12 and maybe even 16 people really comfortably, in my opinion. But I just went with eight because that's how I roll. Anyway, so you can get if you get up there, which you don't even need the long jump for, you can get some charges, very good stuff. You got a little bit of a hiding spot here, but you know, be careful if you're going to do that. Um, before you go into the water, you can grab some grenades for your SMG if you got one. And you can get over here and grab the SMG itself! Or the ammo for it, at least. I swear there was an SMG there. Get up here. If you go in here, you get everyone's favorite Egon. Always a good, like, a party, like, you know, stopper right there. Before we go in the water, I'll just show kind of where this leads to another little area. Which we'll get to in a bit. If you go in here, you can get the crossbow and some more grenades. You want to get that crossbow ASAP if you're going to do some, like, you know, sniping. Or, you know, actually even going to be underwater because there's actually a tunnel here. You can breathe, but if you're just trying to get to and fro places, you know, you're going to want something you can actually fire there. I don't need to tell anyone watching this video that you can't fire most weapons underwater, but I just did anyway, so they go figure. Alright, so if you take this uh, ladder here, you can get to an area over here, which we'll talk about in a bit. You can go, or you can also get up from that area from somewhere else, which we'll also get into a bit. Let us backtrack a little bit. See? See, D Dougwood, this has a steel sound. Why couldn't you do that in Team 9? For shame. So, yeah, if you come out into this area, we'll show you what's up here later. On the ground floor, you got something neat here. If you jump up and press the, or I don't even think you need to press the use key. If you just jump on it, go grab yourself, get yourself some snarks in the dumpster. And you can even hide in there. It's great. That's what more maps need is interactable dumpsters. I approve. You got this area, which besides having a shotgun, also lets you see into the void. Um, in a nice little hiding spot here. And if you go this way, get the ammo in the empty box. And we'll get back to that area in a bit. But first, let us check out the roof of this place. Um, I think some of this roof, you can't explore all of it unless you have the... Uh... Sorry, I just didn't know if he was going to be in my way. Didn't mean to graze your atoms there. Um, I don't know if you can explore every area here with the long, without the long jump, but you can get over here. Oh wait, no, you can. It's a little bit more trip difficult, but you can probably jump from that. I'm very certain you can jump from that window, from that little ledge there. As you see there, that's where you can grab the SMG finally, though. And if you go back this way, that was the other side of the area I just fell down on. Yeah, see, so you can get the, the little area here, too. I feel like it's just this is mostly just a little hiding spot, but if you got the long jump, use that. You know, you can do a good place to throw some snarks if you're feeling cheeky. That is that one area we can fall down from. That's where it goes to. You can actually jump out here to escape, or if you were to go from the other side, which I'll show off real quick, and that's the opposite of where we were earlier. All adds up now. You can get out here to get some more charges, always helpful, and some grenades. And again, you can actually... I swear you can jump that. Come on, that is totally doable. I refuse to believe otherwise. I'm just not going to do it because I know it'll take me 30 mi minutes to do so. Um, so yeah, here's this little area from below where you got everyone's favorite revolver. Which isn't as useful on this map as I'd like it to be just because there's not many places to snipe. But you know, obviously you want to have it anyway. Never leave home without it. 
This is the area I vividly remember. I've been in this part before, I swear. And you got a little hiding spot which glitch out the walking sound for some reason if you walk a certain way. I approve because it's the metal sound. If you want to get back up here, you go here. And before you can climb up there, you can come around this way. And this leads you back to... This kind of little area here. Where you get some claymores. You get some shotgun ammo. And then you get the high pan. It, this is a really interesting little one. Don't forget this little area here. I remember there, there being something cool up here. Oh, this is how you get back to this side. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. I couldn't remember exactly what was there. And this is how you get back to the rocket room. Which, you know, you can't live because I don't trust any of you freaks now. But you can climb through here, or I guess climb is the wrong word. You can crawl through here. If you go this way, I think this leads us out to that one area that we'll save for last. No, it leads sort of to the one area we'll leave for last. Never mind. Um, but you can also take this ladder right here. And this leads you into the steel area, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, from up here, again, I really just like, this is just like, you know, that kind of grunge look I like. It just looks so good. In a bad way. It's hard to describe. What makes grunge visually attractive, I wonder? Like this kind of dirty look? Who knows? It's just a certain thing. Gauzing can be very helpful here if you haven't figured out right now, just because of the amount of verticality and like you know one-way trips from up to like to, from up to down that you can take so you know you might want to keep that in mind i don't believe there's anything else over here but yeah just keep this area in mind because there's a, like you know the what like you know be careful if you drop down because once you drop down you're going to take a while to get you back up which i guess is a little bit of a complaint i have because i don't really like multiplayer maps where you can't you got to do a lot of climbing to get places even though i like the hill go figure and here's an elevator to get up there which, you know, I'm not going to ride all the way up, but that's where that takes you. And now to that one area we were saving for last. And this is where things get a little bit interesting, and I have a little bit of a nitpick. So first, you can get up here, if you guys jump. I believe this is another map. No! I didn't think to do this last time, so yeah, here you go. See into the abyss, and you can hide up here. I guess uh, the, the John Guthrie and um, Dave really didn't expect anyone to gauze jump like that. But, you know, maybe they did, and they just didn't feel like designing around that. Who knows? Can I keep going? I can. And in fact, holy shit. I didn't even think it would do this last when I tested it last night, because I didn't think this would be possible. But yeah, here you go. You can kind of break this map. Can I drop into here? Well, no, I guess they were. Maybe they did intend it, and they just didn't figure bother to design it. Which, you know, on one hand, yeah, fair enough. It's multiplayer. You don't have to worry about the aesthetics as much. But come on, that looks a little bit trashy. Looks a little bit amateur. Tut tut, but maybe they wanted to keep the polygon count down. I don't know what the point of this ran is. I'll shut the hell up. But yeah, you can control the roofs really easily if you got that there. Gauze. So yeah, keep that in mind. And here's that other way we were at. Plus a little bit of a hiding area with some health. Now, this right here, you might be thinking, oh, is this a dead end? It isn't. Because you think, oh, I gotta press these switches, right? And it'd be nice if the bot would help me with that, but no. You, you do have to press the switches, but you can only do it at the same time. G idiot, get back here! But, Please? Please? Because it's, they only last for so long, see? You need two people to open this, ha catering to that team play, um, like, you know, mechanics I was talking about earlier. Um, I don't really feel like waiting for the AI to, like, decide what it wants to do. I will pop up here real quick. I'm pretty sure there's something up on this. Yeah, this is where you get the crossbow. And this one you can get from over here. So this was the intended way. You would have to go from the window here is where you drop down, I suppose. Or you drop from here. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. Anyway, well, we're going to have to go into single player real quick. Don't mind me. Yeah, ignore the sky again. That's just because there's no default. You'll notice that that's why a lot of these uh, multiplayer maps tend to use the desert kind of aesthetic. Just because it probably saves time. And, you know, the default maps always in, is in the desert anyway. So, you know, I don't, just a little rant real quick. I don't know how many of these maps, they came out right after the game launched, right? Like early 99. So a lot of these, like, you know, ones that were added later were probably in development when the, before the game was released and they're finished up after. Um, I would imagine that's a lot, what a lot of like the reasoning for the similar aesthetic. I mean, some of them probably aren't, but I, I always get that feeling. Anyway, so if you were to have pressed both switches at once, this would open and you get into here. 
And there's some interesting stuff in this once I remember how to spell. So here you got this little like two-way area here. Get you yourself some health charger and a few supplies. Not as many as something like, um, what's it called? Crossfire or double cross. But shotgun's always good. Now, the idea of why I say this is a team map is because... You see this little board here? Alright, you might think it's just some old map overview or something like that. But no, it isn't. If I were to give myself... I don't want to do that necessarily because of the fucking HEV thing. If you shoot on this map, that warps you while you stand. See? So what the idea was, they, they he was thinking, the people that created this, they were thinking that someone would stay in this and try to, like, you know... Because apparently on that map, I have no way to prove it because, you know, I can't run the multiplayer and the bot at the same time. Or the single player and the bot at the same time. Uh, there would actually be indicators of where people are on the map. So someone could be a commander, as they'd put it. And, like, they'd be watching, try to tell people where to go and stuff like that. You know, team plays, stuff like that. And, like, so you would warp there and get the drop on them, quite literally. Um, I don't really like that idea, though. Just because, you know, it's, it kind of cheapens the experience. And again, it makes getting into here really hard anyway, because you'd have to coordinate. And let's be completely honest, on a random Half-Life server, unless it's like clan play or something, who the hell's going to be coordinating this good with strangers? I know it's possible, but I wouldn't. Like, you know, ideally, you know, eventually people would just kind of be standing here on the same team. And like, you know, you would just do it instinctually anyway, or just because, you know, you want to, because you know. But it just, it's so weird, and I don't really think that that's necessarily a good idea. But, you know, it doesn't hurt the map that much. I just think in, like, you know, if it were an actual team play map, I'd find it cheap anyway. Because it gives too much power to one of the play, like, one side of the team. So I actually think this is a better deathmatch map than it is a team play map, even though it's intensely designed for team play. Oh, well. There's not much we can do about that. Except blow ourselves up, of course. You know, when I was trying to access this map in single player, I kept typing in his dust mill. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. Isn't that a map in another game? I'm pretty sure it is. I can't remember which one it is. <gasps> so yeah, you go on it. You just have to get on it. You don't actually have to use or anything like that. Yeah, be careful in this little cramped area if you're gonna get the shotgun because that's probably well. He he knows how to duck. Like he knows how to duck. I don't know what the hell the. Uh problem of the one robot there was didn't want to duck under to get the long jump eh who knows maybe it wasn't his operation manual or something yeah see this is what i mean though without this being here i can't get any access to any weapons so if this like for instance was um a server where like weapons wasn't a uh, weapons always on isn't like enabled you, like you know everyone could have used up all the weapons here you'd be stuck there just be and like you couldn't get the shotguns in there like, I like the idea of the teleporter. I just don't like the fact that, like, you know, the idea was that someone would be, like, one team would be controlling it to the detriment of the other team. I don't like giving one team that much of an advantage. You fool, that's not going to work underwater, just like my aim. There you go. Oh, uh, yeah, the uh, rust mill. Or dust mill, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, middle of the road for the official maps, but still pretty fun overall. I like it, go play it.